Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. Before we get started on what we're going to be doing in this episode, let's just have a look in the MAM and see what we get. So we get an alternate for stators, which takes steel pipe and quick wire to get stators, and that's instead of steel pipes and regular wire. And we get three instead of one. So that's actually quite good. Nine per minute instead of six per minute. We are already producing iron ingots. We already have that set up the way we want it. So I'm not going to choose that. And then we have crystal oscillators. Which is also quite nice. It does take the AI limiter instead of cable and rubber instead of well rubber instead of cable and AI limiter instead of the reinforced iron plate but it does produce quite a bit faster so but for now I think I want to choose this one stators so confirm that and we do have some more hard drives somewhere if I can find them there they are. Let's uh, grab one and stick it in. So where do we have it? Hard drive there. In you go. And begin the analysis on that. Very good. So in between episodes, I did do a little bit of work, uh, which is going to cause a bit of chaos for some of our trucks. That truck is still hopefully, uh, hopelessly stuck there, uh, but I don't really care because we're going to change the uh, the roads today. So that is what we're going to be doing today. We have one stuck there as well, out of power, or out of fuel. So I've set up uh, a few more truck stations here, and I moved them out a bit because I just want to drive through here and load up from every single one of them so i also hooked them up here and upstairs i did hook them up as well so yeah and that is basically what i've done in between episodes so what we're going to do today is redo all our roads but before i get started on that we need to stop every single truck that is using the roads that we have or we're going to have the same kind of chaos that we did earlier. So I am going to stop all the trucks real quick. Can I catch this one before it goes? I'm guessing no. Or maybe I can if I run up here. So I'm going to run around and stop all the trucks and then uh, I'll be right back. See you in a second. All right, so I have stopped all the trucks and just to show you, this is what our road wet network uh, looked like before. So yeah, a bit of a mess and we're going to tear it all out and make it much, much, much nicer. So uh, I'm gonna go and tear everything out here and then I'll be back when that's done. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, I have pulled out basically all the roads down here. Uh, there's a little bit left over there that I didn't do. But other than that, everything has been torn out. And now it's time to build the new roads. But before we get started on that, I have actually built a little bit of it uh, over behind the factory. Or the main hub. Whoops, where's the door? There. And uh, let's just run over there and take a quick look at it so you can see what it is that's going to happen. Uh, I'll run over there and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are on uh, some of the, of the little bit of road that I have built. As you can see, it has a roof uh, so that the trucks hopefully won't go flying uh, over and out of their road. 
and we have a ramp here going down to the hub actually this is out so we'll be, the trucks will be coming up here and turning onto the road but that's not all because it's two levels we have two levels of road so we can go both ways uh, no matter where we are so the bottom one will be going in this case it will be going that way uh, away from me and on the top or the middle one it will be coming towards me or they will be coming towards me so the idea with this is that no matter where we want to we can have uh, these double roads and they will be able, we will be able to pull a road out from any of them anywhere we want so if we want to get uh, down from the middle one we can pull a road down and if we want to get down from the uh, bottom one we can pull a road down from that instead so this allows us to have uh, two directional roads everywhere we go and it's also elevated which will allow us to drive around in our explorer without being annoyed by not being able to pass a road or something like that so yeah and then every i don't know every 10 sections or something like that i'll put in one of these pillars so that it doesn't look like the road is just floating around right because that looks stupid so yeah that's what we're gonna do and I think it's gonna be pretty cool so I am going to run around building all of uh, these roads for a while and then I'll be back see you in a second guys alrighty we're back and we have built or I have built the brand new road network and I think it looks pretty good it's uh, two floors roads and a roof and comes all the way around the base and heads over to our iron and crew uh, facilities it also heads down here and comes over to our uh, field processing area and, and limestone so Basically, it's our encased industrial beams facility, right? So, the pretty big village just for encased industrial beams, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Whoops, I can jump down. Right, never mind. But, it's built, and I am pretty happy with the outcome. Because, once we get our explorer back, which is lost over in the poison area, or we build a new one, we can actually get around in the Explorer here, so without worrying about driving into roads and stuff. And all our trucks hopefully are able to navigate uh, these roads. We do need to build here. There we go. And let's just craft it. Annoy me. Okay. So now we need to get all our trucks going in, and they are all over here. Some of them over here. Park them in there. One of them is stuck there. And I have one over here that I was testing a bit with. So I think I am going to get all the trucks going, and then I'll be right back. See you in a sec, guys. Okay. So all the trucks are moving again. You can see we have one going there and there's one down there. And there should be quite a few more. I think we have 12 trucks going right now. Let's just do a quick count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven trucks. Okay. Well, eleven trucks are moving around around the place. And there's another one coming in there. And most of them are going into here, or uh, actually I don't think most of them. No, most of them are not going into here. Most of them are going around other places because there, would, there will be 12 trucks going in here. And right now we have one, two, three, four, four. 
five, six, five. Five trucks going in there. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the trucks are moving, but a few other things have happened. I needed to build a little ramp here. So, this is an uh, on ramp that goes for both the bottom and the upper floor. And underneath it is a down ramp. I think. Yeah, a down ramp from the bottom floor. And I think that is all I built for now. Yeah, pretty much. Except over here on the back side. Let's uh, go have a look. I did build up this a little bit in order to get a truck in to grab the encased industrial beams. So it'll come in here and grab the encased industrial beams and then it'll turn around and come out this way and go around. So yeah. Okay. What else has happened? Um, let's see. Oh, we need to go this way. So a few other things have happened. I changed this structure a bit. So we have this little edge here because we didn't need the, the floor to be that wide. So I changed it a little bit with a little uh, overhang here of sorts. And I think that looks quite nice here on the backside of the, there's an upside down truck of the uh, iron smelting facility. I don't know why that truck is upside down. They do some weird stops sometimes. I mean, it, it gets quite odd. But uh, yeah, we'll be going again, and there they bump into each other again. Go go! Don't bump into each other again, guys. All right, get out of the way. There we go, and there they're going. Again. It does seem to work though, even though sometimes weird th stuff happens, and it actually seems like. The weird stuff happens mainly when I'm around. If I'm not around, it seems like everything is working, uh, flowing quite smoothly. smoothly. Uh, but as soon as I look at a truck, it starts freaking out. So I, I don't really know what to do about that other than not look at the trucks. And that's not the whole idea. I want to see the trucks gone. But we'll, we'll see. Oh, this is actually where we need to be. I forgot that. So, uh, yeah, other stuff that's happened is that if we go up here, jump, jump, come on, and we take a look in here. We have set up so that we now have 10 industrial containers for storage of uh, iron ingots and they're actually pretty much full that's insane that's absolutely insane they're full how the hell did that happen so fast okay now they're not quite full because these are still going uh, let's have a look at the last one it is full they're full okay Fair enough. And we have two truck stations full, so we have actually have two belts uh, coming in or coming out with uh, iron ingots. And I also hooked up the last uh, iron ore deposit over here. And I have that going in as well. But we are actually doing 900 iron ingots a minute now and I'll show you how that's possible but we also have all of our iron ore coming in here and that's going into just five bins and that's fine they're nowhere near full there we go so yeah and we have them both uh, both the uh, well all three of the uh, iron deposits going in with the same two bins here and coming out and supplying 
now two lines of iron ingot smelting. So let's run up here and have a look. And here we have iron ingots being smelted and we I have set up a next or another full line of iron ingot smelting. So we are producing 900 iron ingots uh, a minute now, which is really nice. And we are not actually using that many, but it's fine. We will. We actually need more than this. But uh, yeah, and it's all coming down here, going into these bins or these containers and coming out here. One going into one uh, truck station and one going into another truck station. And we have fuel going into the truck stations as well. And I set up the fuel for all the four truck stations already. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's jump down and have a look at the mining here. Because that has changed a little bit as well. Not that much, but a little bit. So we have this one going now at full tilt, 300 a minute. We have this one going at full tilt, 300 a minute. And we have this one going full tilt, 300 a minute. And this one is being split on to the other two miners' belts. So 150 goes one way, 150 goes another way, making for a total of 450 on each belt which means that we can support two 450 belts of iron smelting and turn it into 450 on each belt and so a total of 900 iron ingots so yeah that is pretty nice and these guys these trucks they just go in and they pick up some from one and some from another and a third and a fourth when they get hooked up they're not hooked up yet but when they get hooked up, they'll just take a little bit from all of them and bring it over to the iron uh, plate smelting or production or iron screws production or iron rod production, which is the next thing that we need to hook up because we don't have that hooked up yet. But we are going to do that uh, next. And I think that'll work out pretty nicely. I also put up a wall around here, just one level wall all around the base, because the screw truck has a real problem in getting up here. I also removed this wall here, so the screw, tr screw truck would go up here and then it'll turn into the wall and then it'll just be stuck there. And then the encased industrial beam truck would come in and it would hit the screw truck and both would go flying like mad. So I'm hoping that removing this wall and putting up these walls will uh, fix that a little bit, at least. And remember, we are only, I mean, we don't have anything going out of this yet, except the fuel. We have input there, a fuel input here of iron rod or iron plates we have input here of screws and we have input here of encased industrial beams but none of the outputs are being used yet so we have four inputs and we can have six and we have one output and we can have six so let's see that's two that's nuts. that's seven more trucks that need to come into this floor and pick up and drop off and stuff so yeah, I really, really hope this works. Why are you going that way? You're not supposed to be going that way. Oh yeah, you are. I thought I was on the other side of the factory. And off it goes. That's our refueling truck. And I actually need to set up refueling for our, uh, in case industrial beam factory as well, because that truck or in ex Lickable reasons runs out of coal once in a while, even though it doesn't use even half the coal that it should or that it has. So it has a hundred and uh, it uses like 40 each weight. 
So it should have more than enough, but for inexplicable reasons, sometimes it stops and it runs out of fuel. But it is what it is. But I think it looks pretty nice. We have the trucks going all over the place here. And we have three trucks going down to our to the steel smelting. We have a couple of trucks, actually three trucks going up to our um, encased industrial beams up here. We have four, no, two trucks coming to the iron ingot production, which will increase because we both need more iron ingots coming out. And also we need iron ore coming in. And we have five trucks coming into here. And then we have one going out to the uh, fuel production, which we have, uh, that's this one. And so yeah, um, so far it's actually working pretty well. Unless I am looking at the trucks, because if I look at the trucks, they will freak out. I mean, I don't know what it is, why they freak out when I look at them. I'm a pretty nice guy. and. Not a creep, so I don't know why uh, why the trucks freak out freak out when I look at them. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. So uh, up here, uh, or is it this one? I think it's this one. Let's just run up here. So we have the road in here, and we can come up and go this way which will lead us to the uh, central hub, or we can come up one more and go this way, which leads us over towards the fuel and the screws and the iron plate production, or we can come in and we can go this way. And that will leave us, lead us around the base. And we actually have one truck that needs to do that. So, I think I have all the roads around the central hub set up the way I need them to be set up now. We will need more uh, iron production and or iron smelting. And if we run over here where we have our iron rod facility over this way, I think uh, this way. Over here. We have a bunch of iron nodes over here. They're not great, they're impure. We have one there, we have one there. And we have, I think three over here, maybe four. One, two, three, four there. And these are all impure as well. So that's six impure. And if we run up here, I think we actually have some up here as well. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. So two more up here. That's eight impure iron nodes. That's four. Effectively four normal and effectively two pure nodes. And we're going to need to hook those up and get the trucks going on the road as well. And we're also going to need to get trucks going over here to our iron rod facility and we need some truck stations up here right uh, I'm thinking that we probably need two or three to pick up uh, iron rods and we probably need two or three to drop off uh, iron ingots so yeah and here we have some limestone well which we also need because right now all our limestone is going towards building uh, or producing in case industrial beams so we need some limestone to be producing uh, concrete as well for our own usage to build all our roads and stuff like that and we are going to get around to that but the first things first is to get the iron rods producing so in the next episode we are going to get uh, truck stations set up. I might set the truck stations up in between episodes. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it together. And we're going to build the road going over. That I'm definitely going to do in between episodes because 
that is really boring to watch and it's actually also a little bit boring to do uh, but we'll get it done and we will have the trucks going around and bringing uh, both iron ingots over to the rod facility and bringing rods over to our central hub so yeah Quite a lot has happened in uh, in this episode. It, it's been busy and it's also taking a long time. I think I have been, I think it's taken probably around 10 or 12 hours to record this one episode. And uh, well, I have a full time job. So this is, uh, this is for fun as it should be, right? But I do have a full-time job, and usually my full-time job is a little bit more than full-time. Actually, I would probably say one and a half times full-time. So, um, time is limited, but I will make progress as fast as I can. And hopefully we will be ready for the June update, which is coming out, I guess, at the end of June. That would make sense, right? And have everything else uh, up and running and producing before that happens. But uh, we'll see, because, as I said, it does take a lot of time. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next time.